for thousands of years, humanity envied a bird's ability to get aloft right on the spot. Even when we figured out how to make heavier-than-air machines fly, we couldn't fly freely in any direction like our avian counterparts can. It would take three decades after the Wright brothers took first flight to realize our closest approximation what we today call helicopter. Some of these metal birds have impacted our lives in ways we instantly recognize, others have a lesser known legacy. So here we have made the list of most incredible helicopters from the history. Flock. Wolf FW-61. The world's first helicopter. First flight in June 26, 1936. Germany made rapid progress in vertical flight in 1930s. With the design and construction of the Flokwolf, FW-61. Generally regarded as the first functional helicopter. Professor Heinrich Folk started designing what would become the FW-61 in 1932, using experience gained with autogarros from British maker, Ivo Autogiro. He built model in 1934 to explore a twin rotor blades. A 1935 government order, allowed Fock to develop a full-scale prototype. Using the airframe of a training aircraft to mount rotors on tube steel outriggers, on either side of the fuselage, and to house a redale engine driving the rotors, through gears and shafts. Each rotor consisted in tapered blades employing cyclic pick, a core concept of the helicopter control. A small propeller mounted in front of the redale was used for cooling only, not for thrust. The first of two FW-61 prototypes flew on June 26, 1936 with pilot, Ewald Rolfs. Fox helicopter proved vertical flight and auto-rotation concepts, and gained even more notoriety. When German aviatrix Hanno Rich flew one indoors at the Deutschlandale Sports Stadium in Berlin in 1938. Sikorsky R-4, the first mass-produced helicopter, First flight in January 14, 1942. Designed by the legendary Igor Sikorsky, and based on his VS-300 prototype, the R-4 set the pattern for the conventional helicopter with its single lifting rotor and single vertical plan tail rotor configuration. Developed and publicly demonstrated in 1940, it was accepted by the US Army in 1942. The R-4 set the first meaningful helicopter record including a 761-mile cross-country flight, and service ceiling record of 12,000 feet, while boasting a top speed of nearly 90 miles per hour experimentation with the R-4 began almost immediately with the first deck landing on a ship made in 1944. The same year the first combat rescue by helicopter was made by the Army Lieutenant Carter Harmon of the 1st Air Commando Group using a YR-4B in the China, Burma and India theater. The Bell, 47, the first civilian helicopter. First flight in December 8, 1945. The Bell 47 saw Army service in Korea and beyond, as the H-13 Su. But its most important distinction lies in its approval for civil use by car in 1946. The prototype Bell Model 30 designed by Arthur M. Young was the basis for the 47 which first flew in December 1945. Powered by a single Franklin six cylinder piston engine, the Bell 47 proved endlessly adaptable with some 18 variants serving as everything. From lunar trainers for the Apollo program to crop dusters in 1958. A Bell 47 leased by Los Angeles TV stations KTLA, made the first successful television news flight transmitting video as the station's new telecopter. License built in Japan and sold worldwide, over 1,000 of 5,600 produced are still airworthy. Aerospatial, SA-313 Alet 2, the first jet-powered helicopter. First flight in March 12, 1955. In early 1950s, French state-owned manufacturer Sud Aviation experimented with variety of rotary wing designs including the Sa 3120 Alet Light helicopter. While the Alet Light helicopter prototype broke several helicopter speed and distance records, 
government support was lukewarm at the best. To consolidate French backing and further boost performance, Sud paired another design with a single shaft turbine developed by Joseph Zydlowski, the founder of Turbomka. The resulting LF2 flew in March 1955, becoming the first production jet powered helicopter. It began setting records almost immediately, establishing a helicopter altitude record of 26,932 feet in June of that year. An LF2 drew attention when it became the first helicopter to perform a mountain rescue, evacuating a stricken climber over 13,000 feet up in the Alps and again in 1957, when it searched for the crew of a crashed Sikorsky S-58 on Mount Blanc. Bell, UH-1, Iroquois, the Vietnam legend. First flight in October 20, 1956. The UH-1 Iroquois, called the Huey, is the embodiment of the helicopter for people all over the world. Its association with Vietnam in history and pop culture assured its status as did its groundbreaking use by American forces. Over 16,000 military and civilian examples of the Huey family have been built, and production continues today. With the military UH-1 and civilian Bell 412. Born as the Bell 204, the two-blade main rotor single-shaft turbine-powered design addressed an early 1950s, at requirement for medical evacuation, and instrument trainer or general utility helicopter. Selected in 1955 from 20 competing designs, it overcame early cabin configuration, and insufficient power issues, to become U.S. military's first powered helicopter. Officially named the Iroquois by the Army, its familiar Huey moniker stems, from its early HU-1 designation. The nickname stuck so firmly that Bell actually cast Huey on the helicopter's anti-torque pedals. In Vietnam, its use as a medivac, utility, gunship and transport aircraft altered the way modern armies fight. If you enjoy the video please like, share and subscribe to the channel Weird Facts for more.